You're provided with a Nespresso machine which can produce a range of coffee. You can produce an espresso, a latte or a cappuccino depending on what you desire. We also provide a complimentary range of capsules and if you'd like to know more just look at the menu next to us. This will tell you if it's an espresso or a mundo. Now if you haven't used an espresso machine before you need to make sure that the tank is full of water. So before you turn it on have a look at the back. If there is no water you just push this away from you and lift up and then if you were to fill this up with water you just remove the lid, put in water, put the lid back on and then at a slight angle push the tank back down and then click it in place. You are then safe to turn on the machine from the power switch. You'll find that you need to tap the button for it to activate the machine and it flashes when it's warming up. When it is fully warmed up, the lights are on solid. The lights on the left hand side are for espresso, which produces a 40 mil shot. And the button on the right hand side is for a lungo, which produces a 110 mil shot. So to use the machine, you lift up the lever, you then select a capsule, you just put it in, drop it in like that, and then pull down. That's now primed. You then put in your glass to capture the coffee. And then for an espresso, we just push the left hand button and this will produce 40 mils of shot. If it was a Lungo, it would be 110. This is a vanilla eclair, so we're pushing the espresso. The machine then pushes through water and you'll see the coffee coming through. Now, once the coffee has come through, you'll see it drips for a little bit, but then you need to drop the coffee into the capsule collector, which is in here. And to do this, you just lift up the lever, it will drop the coffee pod, and then put it back down. We do suggest then, if you wish to clean this, you can then run some water through, making sure there's a cup underneath to collect it. If, for example, the espresso is a bit strong for you, you can then top it up again by pushing one of these buttons and that will just run, run through some hot water for you. If you wish to make yourself a latte or a cappuccino, then you need to use the Arecino, which is a fruit milk frother on the right side of the machine. To use this, you just take off the lid. Now, inside you can see a spinning disc. When it doesn't have the spring on it, that means it's for latte and if it does have the spring on it it's for cappuccino now within here you, there are two markings now the top marking is for a latte that's the level where you fill the milk to and the bottom marking is for a cappuccino which is below this and that is because it has to be lower with the more milk is frothed up during that and if you put it to the max line it will overflow so you top up with milk you then put the lid back on, you then put it back on the base and then you push the button and it will illuminate red and then the device will heat up and your milk will be warm and the appropriate temperature to then pour into your coffee. To clean this afterwards, friends, you wash this inside with cold water to rinse out any milk residue, then put a couple of drips of washing up liquid in there and run it again, just without any milk, just with the fairy and the water in there. That will clean up the device. And then you can empty that, rinse it with water, and put it on the draining board. And that way it will be ready for your next coffee so you won't have any burnt milk. Thank you.